Hey everyone, it's Chris from RatRaceRebellion.com. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's super important. We get so many questions from people who wonder why they're not hearing back from applications that they send in. And the majority of the time, it's because your resume is not getting by the bots, not getting by the ATS. Now, this is something that we cover in depth in module eight of our free online course, which you can find right here on the YouTube channel and on our ratracerebellion.com site. One of the things that I want to do today is talk to you about how you can use free AI, free chat GPT to help you figure out which keywords you should be extracting from a job description and weaving into a tailored resume that you're sending in for a specific job. Essentially, I'm going to show you how to use artificial intelligence to beat or at least collaborate better with artificial intelligence when it comes to creating a resume that applicant tracking software is going to allow past their gates and into the hands of a human decision maker. Before I get into that, I do want to encourage you, if you haven't already done so, to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We talk about all things remote work, how to find jobs, how to apply for jobs, how to interview, how to avoid scams, we cover it all soup to nuts. So just click on the little subscribe button below. And when you're doing that, click on the bell icon and that will ensure that you receive notifications every time we upload new content. Now let's start at the beginning. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the ratracerebellion.com site where I'm going to show you where to find an ATS friendly, an applicant tracking software friendly resume template that we'll kick this off with. So when you get here to our homepage, you're going to go to free work from home job finding course and just click on that. And when we're on this page, we're going to scroll down to module eight, which is the module that focuses on um, building a resume that is bot friendly. All right, so once we're here, you'll see the video for that piece of the course. If you haven't watched that, it would be helpful to watch that before finishing this. But since you're here, finish this video, circle back to module eight, uh, and then you can refresh by coming back to this video. So after the video, you'll scroll down, scroll down and you'll see module eight links and resources. What I want you to do is find a format that works for you. So in my case, I'm using a current version of Microsoft Word. So I'm going to click on this one, Microsoft Word.docx. That's going to download the document for me. Now, when you download this document, it's going to show up as just being view, that, that it's in a view format. You can go ahead and click on enable editing, and that will allow you to make changes to the document. I want to call your attention to this section, the skills and expertise section. And just to give you a quick visual, the way that we recommend formatting an ATS friendly resume is to start off not with an objective. Objectives are passe. They're a, an objective focuses on what you want. What's your objective? Employers don't want to know what you want. They want to know what you bring to them. So we start with a professional um, overview. So just sort of a synopsis of who you are in a nutshell. And then we follow up with skills and experience. We go through the professional experience, and that includes um, the what the title of what you did, what was your role with the company, followed by the company name, city and state, and then the period of time that you worked for them. And then we follow that up with a brief line about um, what you did for the company. So just sort of, this is the job description. Um, and a lot of people make the mistake when they're writing a resume to make every bullet point a job description. They don't want to know what the job was. They want to know what you accomplished. What were you tasked with in that role? 
So, um, and we cover that again in module eight, um, but I do want you to see just an overview of how we lay these things out. We prefer bullet points that are more um, definitive, that are ex sort of exclusive to what you did in the role and what you accomplished in the role. Um, and you'll see that as you download this and take a look at it. And then, of course, we wrap up with education, certifications, the usual type of thing. And you'll see all of that. But for the purposes of this video, where we're talking about figuring out which keywords you should include in a customized resume, um, I want you to focus on this skills and expertise section. Next, I want you to head over to Google or your preferred search engine and just type in chat GPT. And it should bring up this search result for you. Click on that. And if you already have an account, of course, you know how to get in. If you don't, you'll just click on sign up and you can go through the process of setting up your account here. You can set it up. Um, through an email address, or you can set it up through an existing Google account, Apple account, or Microsoft account. Once you have your account set up, you're going to find a page that looks something like this. All right. And basically what you're going to do is give your instructions in here. Today, we're going to be figuring out how to use chat, chat GPT to pinpoint to isolate the keywords that human resources people have put into job descriptions that you're going to want to extract so that you can weave them into your resume. And you should be tweaking your resume each and every time you send it out. It's okay to have a boilerplate with some very specific um, skills that you have. But it's always a good idea to extract keywords from an actual job description and weave it in. The reason you want to do that is companies that use applicant tracking software train that software to look for certain benchmarks when they're parsing and reviewing and ranking the resume. Now, if you've watched Module 8, you know that 75% of applications that go in through applicant tracking software never make it into the hands of a human decision maker. So it's critically important that you get it right, that you get it right enough so that the bots look at your resume, rank it well, and pass it along. All right, so I want to take us actually back to the Rat Race Rebellion site for a moment. I'm going to go to the home page and let's grab a job that we have up here. Okay, here's one. All right, so this is a job with Transcom. I'm going to go and actually click through to the job description on the company site. And in this case, they're looking for customer service advisor, technical support. All right. And if I wanted to apply for this job, I'd want to make sure that I appeal first to the ATS. All right. So I'm going to grab, I'm just going to do a copy and paste of the job description. Um, I'm not going to worry about the technical requirements or anything like that, just the actual description itself. So I've highlighted it. I'm doing a control C to copy it. And I'm going to head back over to chat GPT. I'm going to pop the job description in here, but then I'm going to scroll back to the top and I'm going to give, I'm going to move my head out of the way, and I'm going to add in a couple of lines of what I want chat GPT to do with this, okay? So in advance of the job description, I'm going to put in the following. Analyze this job description and list 15 important skills, and you can make whatever number you want, 15 important skills mentioned within the text. Limit each skill to fewer than four words in length. And that's because I want them to be able to fit into that um, table format field that I have at the beginning. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit enter. 
and we'll see what we get back for a response. Now, ChatGPT is thinking, it's looking at what I just sent to it, and it's generating a list of 15 keywords that appeared in the job description that was written by the person who is telling applicant tracking software what it should be looking for in your resume. So now we have customer service, communication, multitasking, conflict resolution, independence, discipline. You can see we've got 15 words that it extracted from that job description. Now you can pull up your resume and compare what you have in there with what they are looking for. So for comparison, I've done sort of a screen split screen here where you can see what ChatGPT extracted from that particular job description and what I have for preset skills and expertise in this resume template, okay? So we can see how many of these show up. I see communication here. Customer service already shows up throughout the resume, so we don't need to put that here into the skills. They've included multitasking on their list. It is not something that appears on my resume. So I would go ahead and if you actually are a good multitasker, don't put it on your resume if you can't live up to it, all right? Um, but if you are a good multitasker and you just didn't include that, then I would go ahead and find something here that you can drop in. Now, I wouldn't remove problem solving, for example, because they also in include problem solving. So you see we have a match on problem solving. We have a match on communication. Um, I would probably remove data entry, that's not relevant, and put in multitasking. And then just compare the list and see what else you match up on. So here, time management, time management, perfect. Computer proficiency, that's going to be very important to them. It's something that I do not have spelled out on my resume. So I would find a place to drop that in and again, remove things that they're not asking for and replace them with things that they are asking for. This is going to help ensure that when the applicant tracking software is screening through your application, it's hitting on a lot of those keywords that the person who took the time to write this job description felt were important assets in the candidates that they're going to be hiring. So it's critically important that you take the time not only to make sure that you're not sending out well-written but generic resumes, they should be well-written and targeted. Target for a specific job. Now, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that we get questions from people saying, how come I never hear back? A big part of that is First of all, that you're not getting past the bots. And secondly, if you are getting past the bots, you haven't taken the time to customize your resume for the job that you are applying to. Um, I mean, if you were hiring a babysitter and you had a newborn or a child with special needs, you're going to be looking for somebody who has experience working with newborns or children with special needs because it's important to you. You want to hire somebody who's going to do the best job possible. So your generic resume might be perfect for some jobs, but it's not targeted enough for every hirer. It only takes a couple of minutes. Once you have a boilerplate resume in place, like the one that I just downloaded and showed to you from our resume um, module eight uh, in the course, then it's just a matter of going in and doing a save as, save as, and this one is for transcom. So save as transcom with today's date, plug in a few things that you've extracted from their particular job description, gussy it up, and then send it in. Your chances of actually having them call you in 
for an interview increase exponentially when you take the time to actually read a job description, mirror their language, uh, and send along a, a resume that is um, well written and well laid out in a way that bots, the applicant tracking software, can actually make sense of. Speaking of making sense, I hope that all made sense. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them into the comments section directly below this video. We do go through and read everything that people send in to us, and we try to respond to everybody. So ask questions and we'll fire away and hopefully get everybody squared away and into interviews very soon. Before you leave us, I do want to encourage you to stop by the Rat Race Rebellion website on a regular basis. We post screened legitimate work from home jobs there five days a week, Monday through Friday. And while you're at the site, look in the upper right hand corner of any page and you'll see a link to subscribe to our email newsletter. It's a free subscription and five days a week, we'll drop an email into your inbox, letting you know what we've posted to the site recently, and also filling you in on other things that are important in the work from home sector. That's it. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.